Good morning, prayer team. I'm so glad that you are joining with me again this morning for morning prayer and devotion. God bless you for being faithful to this ministry. And uh, I so look forward to this each and every day with each of you. Uh, Beth Whitley's aunt was released from the hospital yesterday. Her aunt, Mary Ann, who's been in the hospital for, I believe, a couple of weeks now. And uh, we're thankful for this good report this morning. We have lots to pray about today. And so uh, we want to uh, mention those who are battling addiction and uh, pray that God would uh, break those chains or help them to realize um, the deliverance that he has provided for them. Uh, we want to pray for revival in our communities and for a safe return of prodigals. Uh, pray for David to return to God. Jenny Perkins' sister Lisa uh, needs to give her situations to the Lord. Uh, she suffers greatly mentally, emotionally, and spiritually and needs deliverance. Shirley has been struggling with thoughts of suicide. Brandon has a marriage that's on the verge of ending. Has continued praying for the Cummins family as they've been dealing with uh, family issues over the past few months. Our Mingo Job Corps students and alumni in our prayers, specifically Zach Osgood, dealing with high levels of stress and anxiety recently. Let's pray for our Mingo RCF residents uh, for continued revival there and uh, pray for uh, the situation that they're dealing with right now with a recent loss of uh, one of their residents at the facility. Cheryl Chance's family and friends, she wants to see them return to God and be saved. Let's pray for Brother Mark Perkins' uh, children and their wives, Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin, and their children. Uh, pray for Sister uh, Jenny Perkins and for Brother Mark as you're praying for these other needs Although this isn't a spiritual need, uh, they have been uh, under the weather uh, the past week or so. Mark is almost fully recovered, um, but Jenny still on the mend. So let's keep praying for them. Debbie Biddick's family, the Sappington family, Mike and Judy's family, the Robbins family, Sister Pam's family, all of these needing our continued prayers. Marsha and Britt and their family, Mike and Judy's family, the Clark family, uh, Marsha's friend Linda is battling depression uh, due to an illness. Uh, pray for Jeffrey as he needs reconciliation in his family and healing for his wife. Eva Pennington's children need the Lord. Annette and Dave need God to continue to work in their lives. J.R., uh, Destiny, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Beulah Ziegler's granddaughter Amber, Judy Johnson's grandson Holden, Lexi, Jean, Regina Marlin's family, and remember Sister Jessica's uh, family situation. We need to pray for peace in Israel, and we need to pray for uh, believers who are being persecuted in Myanmar, India, Pakistan, and Papua New Guinea. Uh, pray for our missionaries Joshua and Lalina Tingley going to Haiti, uh, going to be ministering in very adverse uh, circumstances there. The Tamyevs and Pattersons, of course, needing our prayers as they are in and around the war zone in Ukraine. The Heisen family ministers to our military families stationed in Germany. Uh, we need to pray for all of our military personnel uh, who are uh, currently stationed abroad and being called up for uh, support roles due to the conflict in uh, Gaza. Pray for our Metro missionaries, Brother and Sister Richmond, Brother and Sister West. Also pray for uh, the Moreno family and the new Spanish work they've started in Burns Mill, Missouri. The Maley family in um, Peebley uh, need our prayers. The Mitchell family and the work in Bloomfield are our prayer focus for this entire month of October. So let's keep praying for them as well. Remember those who have job situations currently. Uh, we need to pray for those who are in nursing homes, that they'll receive the care that they need, and that they would be encouraged uh, today. Uh, pray for Grace and Johnny and their transition uh, to married life and the military life, and for Grace that she would make the right connections with health care providers in her area. We have unspoken needs today that we need to continue praying about for, for the Pulliam family, Jessica O'Hara, Tracy Powers, Sister Judy's family, and Johnny Nelson's family. Uh, we have many health needs 
uh, to continue lifting up to the Lord today, including Mara Sullivan with lupus and autoimmune cerebritis, Michelle Clark, Devin Huff, Doug Seaball, George Tibbs, Jessica, Janet, Judy Williams' brother, Shirley Perkins, Cheryl Augen, Sheila Sadler, Robin Tibbs, Marshall Link, Meredith, and Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, both in need of a healing touch today. Let's pray for those with stomach issues, including uh, uh, including Heather Spence, Star Ramey, uh, Amber Kay, Savannah, Aubrey, uh, Chris, uh, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, Olivia, Michael Parrott, Eva's daughter Sandra, and Wanda Pennington. Pray for Chase, who's in stage four liver failure, and Sherry, who's needing a liver transplant. Um, Robbie Northrup and Kendra Ortiz have chronic lung diseases. Gary Shepard, Rebecca Rush, Gary Lee, Kareem Green, and Dee's mother, Carolyn, all need a healing of the lungs as well. Regina Marlin, Bob Perkins, and Carol need healing of shingles. Ben Ramey's stepdad, Tom, needs healing of memory deterioration issues. Vivian, Johnny Nelson's mom, Melana Cummins' mom, and Kristen's friend's dad all suffer with dementia. Melana Cummins, Beth Wheatley, Marsha Moore, and Marsha's co-worker son uh, have a problem with migraine headaches, and we want to pray that these would uh, be gone for good. Sarah Stroop, Marty DeLott, Riley March, and Tracy Powers all need healing of MS, and we're praying for Tracy's home to sell as her lengthy daily commute uh, adds to the strain from the disease she's battling. Parkinson's disease is the issue for Vivian, Russ, Beulah, my dad, Kristen's friend Matt, Tim Workman, and Joey Etheridge. Uh, we want to pray for healing of heart issues for Michelle Strain's mother, Jimmy Warren, who needs a heart valve replacement, Don and Betty Cossey, who have had quite a few uh, heart issues recently, Bud Taylor, David Duggar, Sister Patty Arnold, Joyce Fisk, Mike Sappington, who is on the waiting list for a heart transplant, Kenny Prenzel, Blaine, Janie Parrott's nephew uh, is this Blaine that we're praying for, uh, just a, a young man with um, uh, heart issues that developed while playing football. Kelly B., Brother Mark Morris, Cheryl Chance, Doyle Mitchell, Holly, Amy Dees, and Robin Felver, also with heart problems. Those battling diabetes include Holly, Grady, Lola, myself, Natalie, JR, Becca, Rose, Evie, Emily Stanley, Michael Williams, Anthony Williams, Steve Cummins, Tim Workman, Lloyd and Cindy Page, Titus Dornbach, and Christian Carr, both with juvenile diabetes, Brother Pulliam, Cheryl Chance, and Jimmy Warren, also dealing with diabetes issues. Now let's continue praying for these children. Uh, Gus Sappington's grandson and Abby Young, both with developmental delay issues. Brantley and Elsie with heart problems. Tana with spina bifida. Abel with PKU and autism. Abram with GNA01 disorder. Le uh, Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker with childhood cancer. Baby G with several health issues. Bailey May suffering from hearing loss. Elise, Emily, and uh, Darla's granddaughter with uh, seizures and epilepsy problems and Arlo, who has been in the hospital again. I haven't received a recent update, but the last we knew he had been taken to the hospital again, and uh, they've been uh, planning to do surgery on him at the end of this month uh, as a last ditch effort to uh, repair damage from being run over by a car uh, over a year ago. Uh, we wanna pray for continued recovery today for Jasmine, Seth, Sharon Burke, Sarah Seaball, uh, all needing uh, a touch today as they continue to recover from injuries. Uh, we're praying for Deidre Searfoss, Dwayne, Joey, Kelly, Evangelist Billy Huey, Buddy Randolph, Wayne Owens, and Anthony Sifford, all of whom suffered stroke and are on the road to recovery from that. Uh, Anthony Sifford has been doing very well. Uh, the last report I saw, he's been able to uh, start eating some soft foods uh, like mashed potatoes and that kind of thing. And so he's definitely continuing uh, to improve. Uh, Pastor David Kent uh, fell on icy pavement last winter and suffered partial paralysis. So let's keep praying for him and his full recovery. Pastor Christopher Dew battling Guillain-Barre syndrome. 
and Nelda Rutledge, who's recovering from multiple stab wounds. Marsha Moore has been having problems with her hip and back. We have several others with back pain, including Jennifer Williams, Melana Cummins, Lori Gravel, Michael Parrott, Terry Nelson, Johnny Nelson, Brianna Williams, Pam's daughter Jenny, Cindy Page, Britt Moore, Bob O, Rebecca Williams, Becky Wilson, and Carolyn Rogers. Uh, we're also praying uh, today for those who are dealing with arthritis pain, including June Coffer, Sister Judy's mom, and Rose Brown. Uh, Renee, Chris, Sheila, and Sammy have mobility problems. Uh, Judy Cookson's needing prayers for pain relief. Uh, Ann Harbin also needing pain relief and healing. Elaine Wilfon going through a physical therapy, I believe after breaking a hip. Uh, Diane also going through rehab and needs pain relief as well. Clay is recovering from recent bypass surgery. Um, so we're thanking the Lord that he came through that well and praying for his quick recovery. Uh, Judy Williams' grandson, Michael, is having a cyst removed from his wrist on November the 3rd. Uh, let's cover him with our prayers, as well as Paul Swinney, who is scheduled to have a back surgery on November the 28th, which will be a seven-hour surgery, very, very serious uh, and major surgery for him. Lois Link has scoliosis and is still waiting on a surgery date for her. Uh, Chris Gregson uh, is also possibly going to be having a surgical procedure in the near future. Pray for Darla and Virginia. They're going through precautionary treatments for um, uh, their treatments for cancers that were removed and wanted to make sure that these don't come back. Also, let's pray for others who are battling cancer currently. Julian Nelson, Jordan, Gladys Sims, Ari Bowers, Donna Hayes, Jamie Joe's grandpa, uh, Kristen's friend Betty, Daniel Dickinson, Marsha Moore's friend's grandparent, Michelle Strain's sister Cindy, Alice, Scott Lucia, Claire, Dwayne Lewis, Dennis Phelps, Sherry, Heather, Diane Escher, Cheryl, Amy D, Sherry Wilson, Kenny Burns, Rebecca Peterson, Linda Young, Murphy Belgard, uh, and Marsha Moore's co-worker's aunt who started uh, chemo last Friday. And Marsha also wants us to pray for her salvation. Eva Pennington was told at a recent doctor's visit that she likely has colon cancer. She has a colonoscopy scheduled to uh, confirm this, and we're praying that that colonoscopy will show that she does not have cancer. Pat Wells' son, Rob, in the hospital uh, with extreme blood clots and also has a traumatic brain injury in his past that clouds his judgment. Ben Ramey's mom has a broken wrist and uh, also injured her rotator cuff in a horse riding accident recently. John Contino has been dealing with some congestion issues and lots of folks right now are under the weather uh, due to the changing of the seasons. And as you might have noticed, um, there's a fly that's uh, trying to escape the seasons right now too. He's been buzzing around me here this morning and providing an unneeded distraction. So maybe pray for me or for the fly one here um, as we go along. Bob Perkins has been having problems seeing correctly due to glaucoma. So let's keep praying for him and also for Eddie Potts, uh, who will be seeing the plastic surgeon today if everything uh, continues on schedule uh, to see what the plan is for his open hip wound. He also needs surgery on his shoulder, but they cannot do that until his open wound is fixed. So let's be in prayer for that situation. Good morning to each of you, Johnny, Judy, Kristen, Sherman, Jessica. Um, see who else we have here. Mom and Dad with us, Melena, uh, Beth Wheatley, Ben Ramey, Pam Pulliam, all with us this morning. Thank God for each of you. Johnny's mentioning Terry's oldest sister, Cindy, is going to be having back surgery to remove, remove a crushed disc and bone spurs. So let's uh, add that specific need to our list, although we are already praying for uh, Cindy uh, in other regards. We have an update on Brenda Ward. Uh, last Wednesday, she had to have a pacemaker also, and then she got to come home on Sunday. So thank the Lord for that uh, update. Uh, Johnny overdid it in the yard yesterday, setting out flowers. So his back is really giving him fits today. So let's ask for a special touch for Johnny this morning. I'm going to be reading to you this morning from 
Psalm 101. Psalm 101. It's hard to believe that we're two-thirds of the way through the book of Psalms in these devotions. So time is just passing by very rapidly here. This is a Psalm of David, a Psalm of David, and we're reading uh, the entire Psalm today. I will sing of mercy and judgment. Unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O oh, when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. Notice all the first person statements here. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. A froward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso privately slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Now, normally, whenever we hear someone excessively use the terms I, me, mine, uh, that is indicative of a very uh, selfish, self-centered uh, person. But not in this case. If there's ever a time for you to emphasize those words, I, me, mine, myself, when you're going to talk about those terms, it should be in the way that David used it here, which was assuming responsibility for everything that has to do with his uh, particular sphere of influence and his life personally. So many people look to blame others for all the things that are going on in their lives, but David said, this is my commitment and these are the things that I'm going to do. Even as the king of an entire nation, David realized there's a lot of things that I am not in control of, but I am in control of my own personal decisions. And if we could just simply embrace this Psalm 101 today and say, here's what I'm going to do. You know, we worry so much sometimes about what others are doing. We obsess about the things that we cannot control. We think about the areas where we do, do not have influence. But I want to tell you this morning, each of us, can do a major work for God within our own household, within our own workplace, the people that we rub shoulders with each and every day, the people that are under our care or in and around uh, our uh, sphere of influence each and every day of their lives. That's the things that we need to concern ourselves with. What am I going to do? What am I going to do to improve my relationship with God? What am I going to do to be an example? What do I need to cut off from my life that would be a hindrance to the plan of God for me and for my family? Those are important questions that we must answer and no one else can answer it uh, for us. So remember today the importance in this context of what I will do uh, what choices I'm making for me, and so on and so forth. So, so very important that we choose to behave ourselves wisely in a perfect way, and then we can be assured uh, that God's favor will continue to rest upon us. Thank you, Cheryl, for this praise report she's sending to us this morning. Good to have you with us. She's telling us her cousin is going back to church. And she wants to continue praying that she stays in and gets her sister in the door as well. So a good report. And we've been praying for Cheryl's family every day. Amen. God bless you, prayer team. Let's pray together and ask the Lord to move in all these situations. Lord, we come to you in your great name, the name of Jesus. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And we thank you today, Lord, that we understand the power of your name. Although we cannot fully comprehend it, we thank you that we have that revelation of who you are. And we just pray today, God, that your will would be done in earth as it is in heaven. As we lift up your name, as we give you the glory and the praise today, let these things be done according to your will. Multiple 
family needs that we've brought uh, to the attention of this group today. And Lord, you are already well aware. We believe, God, that you're handling these situations right now. Lord, these like Cheryl is telling us about that are returning to you. We thank you for every prodigal. We thank you, Lord, for each one that's looking toward the church. And we will not give up, Lord, on those that are still in the pig pen of despair today. Lord, rescue them, we pray. Lord, give them clarity in their thinking. Touch their minds today, God, to help them to see their condition and what they need to do about it. Hallelujah. We pray for revival in every city, in every nation today. We pray, God, for those who are battling addiction. We pray for each of these families today that have strain upon their relationships and dysfunction. God, we pray, Lord, for healing for each home today. Hallelujah. We pray for our Job Corps students, our Mingo RCF residents. We pray, Lord, for uh, these who are battling depression and other mental illnesses today. In the name of Jesus, those dealing with uh, family situations that are pulling and tugging on them in different directions right now. Help them to make right decisions. In Jesus' name, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem today. We pray for Israel, God. We pray for an end to this war that's broken out there. Hallelujah. We pray for justice, God, in these situations. We pray for the hostages today, God, that you would keep them, and Lord, that they would be released. We pray for believers who are being persecuted in Pakistan, India, Myanmar, Papua New Guinea, and other access challenge nations. We pray for our global missionaries and our North American missionaries that we've mentioned this morning, God, and so many others whose names are not even on the list today. God, guide them, direct them today. Uh, let your favor, God, be upon them and help them to see the doors of opportunity that you're providing for them right now. We give you the praise, Lord. We know you're moving. In job situations today, you're moving, God. For our nursing home residents who need uh, compassionate care and encouragement, God, we pray you would strengthen them today. We thank you for Mary Ann being able to be discharged back to the nursing home, and we pray for her strength and healing to continue today. Our military personnel and their families, we lift them up this morning, God. We know your hand is upon them. Protect them, Lord. Uh, touch their families today. Strengthen them, God, in times of separation. We pray for uh, Grace and Johnny today in their recent transition to married life and to military life as well. We pray that um, that Grace would receive the health care that she needs there in Texas. We pray for every unspoken need this morning, God, that you would just move in all of their uh, situations. So, hallelujah, Lord. Touch Devin and Michelle, Mara and Doug, George. Judy's brother, Janet, Jessica, Shirley, Sheila, Cheryl, Robin, Marshall, Judy's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, and Meredith, God. You see, Lord, the health needs that each of them have. Those that we've mentioned today that are dealing with stomach problems and severe liver issues. Those with lung and respiratory conditions. Those dealing with shingles right now and dementia and memory deterioration. We claim healing for each of them in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against migraine headaches right now, tension headaches. Uh, those that are dealing with lots of stress and anxiety, Lord, we, we proclaim your healing touch for them right now. Those battling illness, we pray, God, for complete healing. And for Tracy, Lord, that uh, she would be able to sell her house and that her commute would be shortened. We pray for those with Parkinson's disease and kidney problems, uh, those battling heart disease and diabetes, uh, in Jesus' name, we know that you are our healer. You're the one that holds the answer for each of us today. Help us, God, to trust you in our situations and know, God, that you are going to deliver us from every affliction. We pray for the children on our list today, God. You see what they're going through and the strain that their families are under as well. God, we pray your help for them today. We believe for continued recovery for these who have suffered stroke and accidents and injuries and, and are recovering from battles with rare diseases and uh, Nelda recovering from stab wounds and Pastor David Kent recovering from this fall that left him partially paralyzed. God, you're able to completely restore each of these today 
and we believe for it right now in Jesus' name. Lord, touch those who are in pain today. Marsha with problems with their hip and back. So many others on our list with back problems. We pray for Johnny today who strained his back again. God, we pray that you would touch him and relieve him of this pain. We pray, God, for those battling arthritis and those with mobility problems. Others who are going through physical therapy today. We lift up Clay as he recovers from surgery. We pray for those who are facing surgery in the near future. Chris and Lois and Paul and Judy's grandson, Michael, in Jesus' name. Be with them, Lord. Guide the surgeons in Jesus' name. We lift up those who are battling cancer. And we lift up Darla and Virginia as well, thanking you, God, that they've been declared cancer-free and believing, Lord, that uh, their precautionary treatments will continue uh, to yield good results uh, against the return of cancer. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, each one of these are important to you, God. We pray for their families, Lord, that you would strengthen them as well, their caregivers, in Jesus' name. We lift up Eva today, God. We're believing for no colon cancer. We know what the doctor has already said. We know what they're expecting to find on colonoscopy, but you are the mighty God, and you are able, God. You are our healer. You took stripes, Lord, upon your back that we could receive our healing. So we claim it right now in your name. Hallelujah. We pray for Rob today in that hospital with extreme blood clots. We're praying that those blood clots would dissolve safely. We pray, God, that you would touch his mind today. Hallelujah. Touch Ben's mom in Jesus' name. We pray, God, that uh, she would be uh, uh, healed of this rotator cuff injury and that her broken wrist would heal quickly in Jesus' name. We pray for all those who are under the weather right now due to the change of seasons and, and the uh, vast temperature differences each day. We pray for John today dealing with congestion. Lord, minister your healing touch to him. Hallelujah. We pray for Bob Perkins uh, uh, for healing of glaucoma, for Eddie Potts who has the appointment finally today with the plastic surgeon uh, to treat this open hip wound. We pray they would come up with the right plan for the situation. In the name of Jesus, we give you all glory and praise for all that you're doing in our lives, God. You are so good. You are so good. We praise you. We magnify you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray for Cindy, Lord, as she's having this surgery to remove a crushed disc and bone spurs. God, keep your hand upon her. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. You are so wonderful. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, lead us this day. Direct these prayer warriors into uh, places that they can be most effective for you. And we give you the praise for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, prayer team. God bless you for being a part of prayer ministry. Um, be covering me in prayer uh, throughout the rest of this week. I'm going to be in Branson uh, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday uh, doing music for a uh, minister's retreat there. And uh, so we ask you to cover us in your prayers. As a result of that, I will not be able to be with you live, but I will have pre-recorded devotions for you. And uh, if you would share your needs with one another uh, via the, uh, the uh, recording, the post there, um, just put your own comments on it as you're watching the video and make sure you stay connected with one another. I'll come along afterwards and, and check on these uh, different times in the day and make sure that your needs are being lifted up to the Lord. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Tune in right here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. for another time of devotion and prayer.